Right? We are holding K Shin Chaf. The bottom of Shimchab, the last line, Sifu test. We're going to discuss now about Havdala, whether Havdala is Min Hatayra Midrabanan, and whether or not women are obligated in Havdala. Sifu test. According to the opinion of those we shine in, namely the Ramba, which holds Shi'ika Havdala Min Hatayra. That the concept of Havdalah is Min Hatayra. Shanam Allah, it says on the Potsak Zachar, it's in the Shabbos Lakachoy. You should remember to make Shabbos holy. Chazal tells us, Achreyu, you should remember it. Bain Bikinisase, when you enter Shabbos. Or Bain Bitsiyase, and when we depart from Shabbos. According to the opinion of the Rambam, those be showing that it's Min Hatayra. Women as well are obligated in Havdalah. They're just like they're obligated in Kiddush and Atayra. They're obligated in Havdalah and Atayra. Nothing to do with Mitzvah Shev's man grammar? Good question. One minute. They show Hukash, Zacher, Lashamar. Because there is a hekish in the Pasuk between the words Zohar and Shabbat. What that means is like this. Let's give a little background. In general, the halacha is that uh, women are potter from a mitzvah say shazman gram. All the loisasas, the 360 loisa, five loisasas, they are obligated just like the men. Except for cutting the payas and the beard. They are obligated like the men. However, when it comes to Mrs. Essay, it's only ones which are not time bound. There's no shaykh is the time. However, there are some exceptions. For example, Shabbos. On Shabbos, a woman is chayv to make Kiddush. I Kiddush is something associated with time. Since a woman is chayv in Shabbos, she's obligated in keeping Shabbos. She's not allowed to do work on Shabbos. Right. Because the loisas, the loisas will come aloha. She can't do any work. She's obligating the loisas as a Shabbos. She's obligating the assay as a Shabbos. Why? Why is one connected to contingent to the other? Maybe she cannot do any work. She's high in the loisas, but since the Shabbos, the Mitzvah Shazman Grama, Zohar Sim Shabbos Lakash, she can make Kiddush. So she should be butter from the Kiddush? Because of the Hekish. Oh, we have a Hekish that in the first Asaras Adibris, in the Torah, which is mentioned in Parashas Yisrael, it says, Zohar is Yehima Shabbos Lakache. Remember Shabbos. In the second Asana Sadiv, it's mentioned in Parashas Vaschanan, where in Mishnah Torah, Moshe Rabbeinu and in, in Chumash Dvarim is re- repeating the entire Torah. So Moshe Rabbeinu repeats over the the um, the, the, the Asana Sadiv, and he says it over with a different version. Shamar. He says, Zohar, he says, Shamar. So Chazal tell us that Hashem said both. He said Zohar and he said Shamar. And they were in one breath. But a human can't talk that way. Hashem came out, Zohar and Shamar, it was both. So what does Zohar mean? Zohar means to remember positive. Shamar is the negative, keep Shabbos. Women are chayiv to keep Shabbos. In the Shamar, they're for sure chayiv to keep, to refrain from Malacha. That's a loisas. So since Zohar and Shamar were said, they were said together, in one, in one breath at the same time. So all the halachas that apply to Shomer, apply to Zohar. So since women are obligated in Shomer, in the Loisas of Shabbos, in keeping Shabbos, preserving Shabbos, they're obligated in the Zohar of Shabbos, in remembering Shabbos, which is Kiddush. So according to the Rambam, since the Rambam held that Havdola is Min HaToyra, and is learned out from the same Pasuk as Kiddush, they're both learned out from Zohar, Sima Shabbos, Remembering Shabbos means both in the beginning and the ending. 
through Kiddush and Havdalah. So Havdalah is the same. And if Havdalah is included in Zachar, women are chayif. Because Zachar is compared to Shamar, and women are chayif in Shamar. And if Havdalah is part of Zachar, women are chayif in Havdalah too. So that's according to the sheet of the Rambam and those who show him the Sefer HaChiluch and others that go with this Mahalich that have dollars in that Torah and learned out from the Pasuk Zohar Tev Meshach So Halacha is like the Rambam. Let's wait a minute. Not only that, the third line, V'chayyav is gamki in lahav de betfilah v'ala kois. The chayyav to make Havdol in davening at the Chen Anton. And on the kois. However, I remember learning from Rabbi Mor. Oh. Yeah. Women are not supposed to drink, drink, drink the wine. Yeah. Because Rabbi Morozo said if a woman drinks the wine, she's going to grow up beer. That's one. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, but if a woman on her own uh-huh. needs to make Havdal, yeah, she has yeah, to. Yeah, 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 for sure. But in general, women shouldn't drink Havdal. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Now, but it's not for that reason. That's the reason we tell the women to scare them off. It's for Kabbalah reasons. <laughs> but okay. to scare the women off, we just say that it was an old thing in Europe. They would say, don't, don't drink, you're going to grow up beards. The women all didn't touch okay. Now, <laughs> Since women are obligated just the same as men, just like men have to say, have dollar in Shmanesri, and in Akois, According to this shita, women are exactly the same. Aval, however, you have to help cup with a long sif. The divri oimim, according to those rishonim which hold, many rishonim, toisvus and other rishonim, shemitzah zacher ein ela beknisa shabbos. The zacher means only in the beginning of shabbos you need to recall shabbos. Lo loy not at the ending. I, why do we do havdala? Midir abana, not because of zacher. According to the Rishonim that hold that Havdolah is Midrabanon, over here we can have a discussion if women are obligated in it or not. Did Chazal obligate women or not? Yes, Mishi Oimer, some say, Shanoshim Peturus, me men and women are exempt from it. Kimoshim Peturus, me call, Mr. Seisha's man, Gramabeshal, Toy Benshal, do we say? That women are exempt from it, just like they're exempt from all mitzvah seishas as man grammas, whether the mitzvah essay is a derabbanon or a deraisa. So women are potter from Abdullah. Women are chayiv mi derabbanon, and women are potter. Because as mitzvah seishas as man grammas. Ay, vi af, shabachol, maise, shabbos, ish, vi isha, shavin, feel dvaram, shem, adiv, yisayim. Ay, seemingly, regarding all other aspects, we say that women are the same. When it comes to Shabbos, as the men, even the things that are abundant, hoyo and yishavim b'dvarim yishim and atoyin and adem zacher v'shamer, hishim gam b'dvrei achachav gam b'dvrei mishtikum b'chalas even the Shabbos shulasi. Anything which says al drebe, the answer to that is that anything which is associated with zacher and shamer, a woman is chayiv, just like the men, because she's chayiv and shamer, she's chayiv and zacher. But havdala, which is midrabbanan that Chachamim is instituted is not connected with Shomer and Zohar. If it's not connected with Shomer and Zohar, they're not, they don't have to be the same as, as men. It's only in aspects that are connected to Zohar and Shomer that women and men are the same. That's valid next side. Now explain the other side. Here. What's the connection? Here, let's see. El It's Chazal. It has nothing to do with Shemitah Shabbos. Abdullah. Why not? It's set a Shabbos. Ela according to this opinion. Daver b'fnei atzmihu. It's an independent takona. Shetiknu chachonu lahavdu b'in kodesh l'chayel. Chazal wanted us to differentiate between kodesh and choyel. Holy and mundane. It's not about Shabbos. It's not about keeping Shabbos. It's not about Zohar Shabbos and Shemitah Shabbos. It's not about the cover of Shabbos. It's about a yid has to know the differentiation between choyl and kodesh. You know what's holy and what's mundane. There's Shabbos and there's the weekday. There's Yom Tif and there's the weekday. There's Kedusha and there's, there's Klippa. You have to know the difference. And to make though, that distinct differentiation that there's a day of the week which is separate. So Chazal wanted us to make Abdullah. 
but it's not connected to the psukim of Zohar Siva Shabbos of Kashi. Shomer Siva Shabbos of Kashi. Therefore, there's no reason, according to this opinion, that women should be obligated just like men. So therefore, since the separate takona, it's a inyam midrabbanan. It's connected to time. A mitzvah says she has man grandma, even if it's midrabbanan, women are pater. It's only regarding zacher and shomer aspects that we have a special limo, the hekish, that women and men are the same. That's this opinion. But according to the opinion that's min hatoyra havdala, for the men it's min hatoyra, then then it's a kud in zacher. If it's kud in zacher, women are chayv shemiz. It's only if you learn that havdala is an independent institution. It's a concept for itself. Then we can have a discussion if women are obligated or not. And there's an opinion that we just learned that women are not obligated. That part. There's not a problem if they want to do it to say it, obviously, because they say it through. No one's else. They should say it themselves. Well, they only they're chayiv because the yesh chol can have. So how do you how do you if they have no one to say abdolo? One minute. One minute. Let's finish this. The yesh chol can have. Others argue on this. Other rishayim them argue. They say no. But I mean, Shabdolly, he means Chir Shabbos, but to Shossi. Ain't a Hanami, it's Midrabonan, Abdullah. They disagree with the Rambam and they agree with the second opinion that it's Midrabonan. But this third opinion says, even though it's Midrabonan, it was Midrabonan based off the concept of Zacher and Shamar. Abdullah. Shavdallah he may ins chidas ha shabbos v'kdushasay. Shavdallah clearly does have a connection with remembering Shabbos and making the holiness of Shabbos. Shemaskidin hev l'min kdushasay v'chem. We mention clearly the difference between the kedusha of Shabbos and the weekday. We are mentioning the kedusha of Shabbos. Okay. Olefiha chanoshim chayavos b'medi b'soyvim k'ishe chayavos b'chol advarim shetiknu chacham b'glal kedusha Shabbos. And therefore, the women are obligated. Midrabanan. In all aspects, of, uh, 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 just like the men are be obligated in anything as with the kedusha shabbos. Shetik uchach devreim kein shel toira shanoshin chayavos bezachos shem toira kanoshin. Because Chazal said, just like min hatoira, everything of anyone who's obligated in shomer is obligated in zacher. Also mit derabanan, anyone who's obligated in shomer is obligated in in in, in the zachos of mit derabanan. Zavdalei in Echanami is midrabbana. Zacher Siyem Shabbos Lakache is referring to Kiddush. In the Knis of Shabbos, that's min hatoyra. Yitzia of Shabbos is only midrabbana. But Chazal, where did they learn this out from? Where did they get the concept from? From from Zacher Siyem Shabbos Lakache. It's the idea of Zacher Siyem Shabbos Lakache. The min hatoyra is only when we enter Shabbos. Chacham added that we also do Mitzvah Shabbos. So since it's connected to Zacher. If it's connected to Zacher, women are chayiv because they're connected to the Shomer. So we have three opinions, and the third opinion is the Iker opinion. The women are chayiv, but the entire Havdalah is Midrabanan. For men and women, it's Midrabanan. Both men and women are Midrabanan, and women are chayiv. That's the third opinion, yeah. I could hear Havdalah because it makes sense because it's not really Mitzvah to say Shazman Grama. It's a good question. Why is she not obligated in, in, in davening? That's a good question. Why is she not? It seems like that the chiyuv, according to the pin, we have to say was only on the kiddush hmm. but doesn't no, say- no, I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you the truth. Is the reality is they are obligated in saying, but the women. I don't know. It's a good question. I don't really shabbos. know. Women basically rely on the say about a chamab, but uh, yeah. the reality is that, which by the way, meaning if a person did not say at the chenantano and tefila, he relies on on on, on, on abdallah yeah, kois. Yeah. Unless you want to do malacha before, he'd say about a chamab. Yeah. So the women, women don't in general daven ma'ir. 
they don't have a myriad, so they're not, if they're not having a myriad, they're not saying after the they're relying on Abdullah. But you mentioned that according to that sheet. According to the Rambam sheet. The Rambam sheet. The, according to the sheet that the first opinion that they're obligated that Abdullah is Minatoira, men and women are the same. And in that sheet that we said that the Chayim and Tefillah and yeah. Kois. Over here, when it comes to the Rabban and Al-Tarab doesn't focus on the, on the thing, but I don't know, it's a good point. I have two things. First of all, a lot of women, they just say, I'm up there and then they take the phone and they do it. That's number one. Number two, Shamo Bezacho Bedibu Echad. It's the same. Yeah. That's why the, it's for the woman too. Yeah. For Bedibu Echad. Yeah. It's one. Uh, yeah. Dibu. So that's what the third opinion says. One deeper. But listen, you're allowed to do Malacha once you say Baruch Hamal to make Kodesh Lachal. You're allowed to do Malacha. You're allowed to do malacha. So the women are allowed to do malacha. You can't eat before Abdullah, but you're allowed to do malacha. Abdullah, by the way, is not, is not, people think Abdullah is, that's what allows you to do work. It's not Pshat, Abdullah is work. Abdullah is an institution like Kiddush. It's the, the remember Shabbos. Remember Shabbos? Now, Hazal said that you should some sort of havdala. You should you should not do work before doing havdala or eat before doing it. You need to do you not not because you need to do it, it, you need to do so before you do the mitzvah. You have to you cannot do work for eat. Once I uh, I said baruch hamav, I am allowed to do work. Once it's once I, I do the, I I actually said Allah koi, I'm allowed to eat. But the Indian of Dal is to be the lava of the Malka. It's an Indian, a different Indian. It's an Indian of, of being of, 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 of being Zoycha Shabbos, be It's not a, it's a separate Indian. The Torah is not connected that you're now you're allowed, that you're the reason why you're allowed to do Malacha, because you said Abdullah. The Torah says that just like Kiddush you make in the beginning of Shabbos, you can make Abdullah in the Shabbos. What happens if someone doesn't have a koyz that night? You can do Malacha. What's the between eating and doing the lava? Eating generally, generally, we, we, eating Chazal doesn't allow us to eat before, before doing something, before doing a mitzvah, because we eat, we could forget to do the mitzvah. We sit down at a meal, we get carried away. Yeah. You went and turned on a light, you, you struck a match, it's not, it's not, it's, just, it's not something that's it's much of you. They should put certain malachas in the certain malachas in the A guy starts uh, after, uh, starts uh, putting up, uh, adding, uh, fixing his roof, and uh, what's more important, eating a piece of cake, getting hungry, or putting on the roof? If that's the reason. Like a Hanami, Hanami, I don't know. That's the general question about certain malachas. Now certain times we do ask the malachas, like before davening shachris, before not davening shachris, before davening mincha, that's supposed to go to the barber shop. Really? That was more those days when going to the barber shop was a whole big thing, you know. It's in the it's in the Masef, the Arab shop is in the Masef, the Masef, the Masef, the Masef, the Masef. Yeah, certain things we don't go to in America. You're not supposed to go to a bathhouse before shachris. The Shiloh, people go to the mikveh, how they allow to shower, but uh, but Lamaisa, going to the bathhouse was a big thing those days. You went to the bathhouse. You're going to the bathhouse, uh, you know, you weekly, you weekly visit to the bathhouse, you weren't coming out so quick. You can't go do that before 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 Milcha. The best stuff was for hell that time. Not like all this. Yeah. Now, who is... The hal- Iker Halacha is like the third opinion. The Havdalah is Midr Abanan, and women are obligated the same as the men. However, according to the second opinion that we learned, so it comes out like this, to make a sickle. According to the first opinion, which is the Ramam's opinion, women are obligated the same as the men also. But it's Minah Torah. According to the third opinion, women are obligated the same as men, but they're both Midr According to the Ram, they're both Minat According to 
third opinion, they're both the Rabbanan, men and women. They're both the Arab game and the Rabbanan. According to the second opinion, it's it's Havdalah's mid and men are obligated and women are puzzled because they say she's mantra. So according to the second opinion, which is the, the first opinion that we, that in regards to this one, the one right before this one, women are puzzled. So a person, because of this, a person who, if he already made Havdalah, he already made Havdalah, and there's only women here that need to make Havdalah, you shouldn't make Havdalah for them. Why? Because according to the second opinion, the opinion right there. before this one, not that I was going to call out the first opinion soon, the women are a putter. So you're not going to go and do, a, do something for them to do the mitzvah. Right? So you can't do it. But the women can do it for themselves. I, according to the second opinion, they're putter. However, they're allowed to do things, even if they're mitzvahs, which they, they're not chayiv, and they're allowed to do, right? They're allowed to make a bracha on shoifer, and sfina soimer, and leisha vatsukah, even though they're patr. So they're allowed to do it. Even according to the second opinion, women can make the bracha themselves. Okay, do a but we can't make the bracha for them because they're not obligated. Let's look inside. We call mokim. Four lines from the bottom. But, but is this only according to the second opinion? Only according to the second opinion, women are not obligated. Yes. Because... The Ikra Aloha is that they are obligated. They are the same as the men. But we are still concerned with the second opinion that women are not obligated in this Havdalah. Because we go, go home to make Havdalah. You're making Havdalah for yourself as well. Got it. That's not a problem. When you're making Havdalah for yourself, what happens if you were Yoitza already? In the shoe. Let's yeah. say your wife went out she went to a friend's house and she's, uh, she went, she's coming back in two, three hours. Or someone's daughter, or whoever it might be. Right? So what, what are you to do? I had this problem myself. Uh, it, it was at the ending of Pesach. I came home and my, 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 my daughter wasn't there. My daughter went, uh, she went to Sulis Mashiach in, in, in the somewhere. Taking a long time. Now I'm not gonna. I wasn't gonna sit around waiting. Who knows when she'll be back? An hour, two hours. So I'm gonna make Abdullah. So I made Abdullah. A minute later, she walked in. Oh, no. so maybe you have to make your own Abdullah. She because had, I, she, she had to make her own Abdullah. Make some grapes. She used to make Abdullah, but I'm not gonna make Abdullah. I can't make because I'll never write to be here. We could we concern with the first opinion, meaning the second opinion. Not to make Havdalah for women. Someone who was already already did his obligation. And there's no other males in the room that are listening to you. If there's other men there, it's like if I can make for those men, the women can also listen in. But if I'm only making for women, no problem. According to the previous opinion, the women are exempt from Abdullah. He's saying about Abdullah. The women themselves, Yechoyilis, Lahab, Latsman, are allowed to make Abdullah for themselves. Even if we go like the second opinion that they're potter, just like they're allowed to make a bracha on any mitzvah seishas man grammar which they fulfill, and we don't consider it a bracha of according to the Ashkenazim. The Svardim are machmer with this, and they hold, the Svardim hold that a woman, a woman or anyone who's potter from mitzvah, is not allowed to say a bracha to do it. They're not allowed to say a bracha on the Tilos Lulav or the Shmaya Kel Shoyfer. They're like the Rambam, the Svardim, and saying they have to say it anyway. In this case, you might be right. Spartan, in this case, felt like the Ham. It's a good one. Could be that. In the Ham. The general Machlaik is Spartan Ashkenaz. Like, in this case, it wouldn't be this. Even if a woman's making Havdola, and she's allowed to make Havdola for herself, but a man cannot listen into her. A lady should not be mighty men. Yeah. Because again, according to the second opinion, she's not obligated. 
So someone who's not obligated, it cannot be only you might see someone who is obligated. It's high. But if she makes herself a dollar, she can do also a nair and There's also money. another reason why. Huh? She can make for nair and besamin too, only yeah. force. Yeah, everything. All, all of that. Yeah, she owes it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, 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 by the way, I always make sure as soon as Shabbos is over, Marit is over, to leave the shul immediately. So I, I'm not the. So it's in the I'll give you another option. You can just have in mind that I'm not, I'm, I, I do not want to be Yitzhak. Yeah. Not want to be Yitzhak. Yeah, I mean, Agav is another reason why women shouldn't be making Abdullah, which is not talked about here, and it's Kiddush. That even though they're obligating Kiddush like the men, because it's uh, become a zilzil, that you know, become like the, you know, the husband says, like, ah, you know, let my wife make Kiddush. No, if you do everything in the household, you're the man of the household, so you, you, you do the Kiddush also, you do the Habdal also. It's showing a certain zilzil in the images. And some people and so they already have so much zilzo from their wife control and it won't be any worse. So just say also say kiddush while you're at it. No, I mean, at, least, at, least, at least he says kiddush still. Yeah. At least she still sits him at the head of the table and yeah. she's not sitting at the head of the table. Right. You know, she might be she might be the neck, but she's not the head. Mm -hmm. Right? She the head and the neck is moving the head, but not, uh, not yet. <laughs> you know they say the famous joke that there was two someone came uh, upstairs Lamaila and he saw there's two lines so he said why are there two lines so one line is for those that uh, the women ruled over them and one is for the line the men ruled over them and the line which the men the women ruled over the men that line was the full line the line that uh, the men ruled, the men ruled yeah, over, more. there's only one person there. So he walked over to the guy, he said, how did you manage to do it? It's an unbelievable feat. He said to him, shh, my wife told me to stand here. Let me ask you one more pertaining to question. If you're doing it already, you have to have a right? Let me ask you a question. There's an Indian, some people say there's a Shaila when you say to do a better. Yeah. Say it without the Abish. Say, say to do a better, but don't include the, don't include the Baruch HaKar Shem. Something, whether you should say it or not. Some people say it's the Muncie, whether you're not, they say without, without saying the, do I, you have a Suffolk over here. Could the woman, in a chat like this, now you come home with, with a problem, set up go. You want to entertain it, maybe they, what, could you say Abdullah for them? She doesn't want to drink the wine. Could you say Abdullah? Leave Say say a broth of rainy day to some, no problem. You smoke some again. Say bread for your doctor. Then say baruch hamavde ben kaidish lechol, and then drink up the wine and leave out the shame of body. Yeah, but then who, how is she going to be yotze? She needs. To... The, the, she, according she, to the third opinion, she's mamish chayim, so she needs to hear Abdullah. I, you are. You're just saying it without, just like you'd be yaitse, feel sadar without the shame. That's only when you have a suffix. Uh huh. So it's not First of all, by the way, we make we make feel sadar with the shame. Mm. Just it says that there's it's a suffix whether it's supposed to be a bracha, smucha, or chaverta. It's supposed to be a tchila. Tchila. So therefore, we, 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 it says al the Siddur writes, you should say it after like a shahakot. Yeah. So here in the shul, yeah. when we hear from parents and yeah. and we yotze, we don't have to do it to our wives. If yeah. you're yotze already? Yeah. You can. All of them yeah. are standing here and smelling it. And, and, uh, no, I can't make up the look. Oh no, unless it's other men in the house. Unless it's other men in the house, or other boys, or other boys. I need to be yotze. That's only for Chabad? No. But I come back um, and I do have the Rakhadah, even though there are no men there. So I don't know. What do you point to the side of the Because the Ram I'm held, I have to look up in the, in the, in the big Shulchan Aruch. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I have a question. Uh, continuing with the reasoning of uh, uh, sh uh, sh uh, sh uh, if your wife or your daughter uh, made their own uh, uh, Abdallah yeah. and they don't want to drink the wine of rages and you are not paying attention to their recitation Abdallah, are you permitted to drink their wine or grape juice? Yeah, you can make a bayer pig off and drink it. Okay. If they don't want to drink it, you can drink it. Okay. If you want to drink it, you can make a bayer pig off and drink it. We are on Peishin Chavbez. Okay. So, again, Lamaisa, you should not make Havdalah for a woman herself. A woman, if you already yoyt. A woman should make for herself a doll. Now, Sif Reish Sadik Zayin. Dim B'Sam Lavdol. So now we're going to talk all about the B'Sam. And then we're going to talk the next Simon all about the Ner. Dim B'Sam Lavdol Avoy Tessif. Hachamim instituted that every Mata Shabbos one should smell Psamim. In order to return, to calm down the Nefesh, because it is, it is uh, anxious. Uh, the, for the Yitzhi of Shabbos, B'Shvul HaNashama Yisei HaShalacha because of the extra Neshama that Shabbos brings at last. The fear of Miyashvin and Mesamchum Oyesa Bareach Toiv we make it happy with a good smell. Mamed Dvar Amurim when is it talking about Kishiyei Shloi Pesama when one has Pesama in one's home Azai with Tzarek Chaliyapen I will ain lo if you don't have it's not like a mitzvah it's not like a mitzvah that you have to go after chase after I don't have it here I have to go somewhere else to, to find it however ain and el b'shvil hashanef is only here in order to give you menuchas hanefesh so you don't have it you don't have it you know the Sparadim when they make the bracha and the Sammim when they make the Sammim Everybody said, ah, when the smell, they, ah, everybody did the they, they enjoy the Shiva the, the and, they, and they also have a little bit of laughter, too. Yeah, they laugh after. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. What's the laughing about? The laughing on the cocaine. Sorry. On the cocaine. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, the laughing and the young son. <laughs> we don't need you. We want to stay a little bit more with Shabbat. <laughs> no, leave us alone. Sit base. Misha is Anna Beshabbas. Sarech Lavarech Alap Samim Beritsoi Shabbas. Someone who fasted the whole Shabbos, even though he didn't eat on Shabbos, he didn't have the enjoyment of the Sud of Shabbos, he still needs to make Psalm of Mitzvah Shabbos. Shekivin Shabbos and the Shabbos and the Shama, he said below Shabbos, since the action of the Shama came on the night of Shabbos, and he left it, it does not leave at Mitzvah Shabbos. You're allowed to fast on Shabbos? For a dream. If you have a dream. Bad dream. 
אם חל יום הכיפורים בשבס, יום כיפור זה שבס, the din of that שבס is explained in the same כיפור. We make up סיב גימל. כל הפסומים שמבורך עליהם ברצריח במחס איסר ערבו, אוהב את הזורם. Any psalm which in it's explained in the halachas of psalm that in brachas, halachas of brachas, that we're not allowed to make a brach on it, you're not allowed to use it for Abdullah. Whether the isa is beimachos isa erva, because it's it's from an erva, a lady who has psalm on her to beautify herself, so you're not allowed to make uh, smell her psalm if she's a, 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 a someone that's also for you uh, to be in contact. She's not your wife. Or it's connected to an Aved Azar, incense connected to Aved Azar. Whether because it's not made in order to smell from it. Even if it's the wife's funeral. Not to use it if your wife's a Nida? She's not a Nida. No, but it's not normal to smell that for the summer. I'm saying that, but he's, he's saying only if she's, Talakha says only if she's the heir of the field. My brother one time went into that sugi. I don't know. I have to look at him, ask him what he. Uh... That's on the game now. But, uh... Yeah, but it has to be. I think when they, it has to do also, it has to do the, the actual summer. You can't just make on the smell. It has to be the, the perfume yeah. bottle. He may riach b'hem mitzay shabbos bein shebeda bein shalei berech lo yotza. Whether you made a brach on or not, you weren't yotza. In these cases, it's a last of riach of some achirim to make a brach on other. Summon in Yeshle if you have a lot of You don't have, like we said, well, you don't have, you're not have to go to look for it. It's not a bracha of a towel, just that you're not the Yitzhak, the, 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 the part of the mitzvah which says you have to have the summon. I, I don't know, I don't know why the bracha of a towel or not because it's not bracha of a towel. Some. Do you remember the dinner of Zion? You're, you're, if it's real for Salmon, and even if it's ever something you said of Brach on it, says for Abdullah you're not supposed to do it. No, no, no. It's, 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 it says, call up Salmon. Sif Gimel. Call up Salmon. Shemesh Bar of Salmon. Shizayin. Shizayin is the name of, of, brach, of Brachas. Of Salmon. Any of the Salmon is explained over there that you're not allowed to make a Brach on them in general. You're not allowed to. The question if you did, if it wasn't a Brach on them, I don't know. You have to yeah. look up over there. Any smell which you make a bro- you're allowed to make a bracha, even if it's a fruit which you're going to eat the fruit, if it has a good smell, you're allowed to smell on it. Smell of mitzvah shabbos. Can, can the fruit be used in place of the salmon? Yeah, that's what he says here. The imhumin voicem. By different bracha. If, if, if it's a type of, of incense, a fragrance, yivara bracha ruayiloi. Make the bracha that's right for it. Imhumin eats if it's from a tree. Where the atzeb salmon. Imhumin eatsem, it's a grass, a root. Where the yitzeb salmon. It comes from an animal or something else. Since we're not bucking in brachas, so we're not going to start making, well, this you say this bracha, this you say this bracha. Everyone says, So therefore, no gulavarech bracha. Therefore, we have the minig is to make a bracha. On a, use the nusach of a bracha, which b'diyeved yoytze for all everything. Like b'ayin mine p'sam. B'ayin mine p'sam means all types of p'sam. Really, you're supposed to say in each one the specific bracha for it. But b'diyeved, if you said b'ayin mine p'sam, Hashem created different types of fragrances. That works for everything. B'diyeved. So since the oilum is not bucky, what's the nusach of the bracha to say in each, each different type of fragrance, if it comes from a tree, if it's a fruit, if it's from a grass. So therefore the meaning is of the oilum to just say barely minute sun, which should be the every yoitz and everything anyways. That's what we do. Let's just finish and I'll have a... 
You should buy a Berichus made of some of Kilfos. He says it's good to put a piece of something which it actually, the bracha on it is Bode Mine Psamim within the other Psamim. This way, you yeah, say according to all opinions, yeah. Yeah. And can you can you make those those brachas later if you yeah. get all these objects? Yeah. Time to to save. No, only only matzah shabbos. Uh, but you don't have a chiv. You don't have a chiv to go out somewhere else. You're gonna put a piece inside that. That piece of music. What does it mean? Yeah, the big one. Maybe they don't like to make it on that alone. I don't know. It's a good question. Okay. I said other few alakas will go to my Sif Dalit. Pilpulim Kedushim Zang Vokatush These different spices, crushed spices In Mevarachim and Metzai Shabbos You make a bracha Metzai Shabbos will be explained It's explained in Hilchas Brachas of Tzav Reish Tazai Sifei Sakim Meleim Psamim Sacks full of Psamim Shemisima Hanochim that the Goyim put Toy can cane hayayin inside the bar- wine barrels. Kteshiyiklet hayayin reicham the wine should become have a nice fragrance to it. The wine. You don't only want to have a good time in the yayin; they want to have a good reich. Avapi shemutal that he have psalm elu. Even though it's mutter to smell these psalm, ve'ein bam isim mishum reich hayayin shalhem. The psamim don't have an iser to make a brach on them because of the wine, the smell of the wine that's in them because it comes from wine, from Goyesha wine. The ayin stains the stam yenam, right? Hoyel v'himriach b'hem v'amiriach b'hem v'amiriach b'hem v'amiriach ayin shum v'hem v'amiriach atzim In general, you're allowed to make the brach of b'hem v'amiriach b'hem a whole week if you smell these type of psalmim, even though there's also a smell of wine in it, because your kavana is not the wine, your kavana is the smell of this psalm. And Komok Mitzoi Shabbos, when it comes to Shabbos, it's different. In Litlam of Psalm of Shaldolo Chatchila, Shema Ulsim Lagvaya, because it's disgusting to use it for Hashem for mitzvah. Bechol Dvar Mitzvah Machaz Yayin Ha'osur Habalubin. It's the whole week making a bracha. You're not using it for a mitzvah. It's for your pleasure. You want to smell it. You're allowed to make a bracha. If you're having hano, you have to make a bracha. But to use a mitzvah Shabbos for a mitzvah, the Indian of Psalm for Havdalah, that you shouldn't use it. It's only l'chatchila you shouldn't use it. Yeah. Only l'chatchila you shouldn't use it. But I thought the whole thing is that you have to get on So why should you go for it? Yeah, l'chatchila you shouldn't use it, but if that's the only thing you have in your house, you should, to, should I, do it. But I can do nothing at all, also. Not if you have it in your house. If you have it in your house, you have to do it. It's only when you don't have something in your home. Sivo. Some say you have to make a bracha on a hadas. On a hadas shal mitzvah, the one that you used for, for, the, for lulav. See, so the one mitzvah, you should do another mitzvah. Even though it's dry, it doesn't have such a smell. It gives us a little bit of a smell. Others say no. 
better to make an other psalm which has a strong smell than to, to smell a, a, a dry hadas, which barely had any smell. That we don't make on a hadas. It's better, best, to put a hadas next to the psalm. And make a bracha on both of them together, and therefore you ask the hacker, you ate the both opinions. Yeah, I've seen some people do it. Some people stick inside the psalm a few of the leaves of the hadas. It doesn't mention the Esther here, it just talks about it. Doesn't it doesn't mention it. People, because of the same concept, you use the mitzvah, you use the mitzvah. But the go by Hadassah specifically, it's not a Indian Hadassah. It's only because it's a specific meaning, it's not important. Yeah. The mice is someone does not have, is not able to smell. Some people don't have it, uh, they can't no. smell. No then uh, you can't make the bracha, but you summer. Unless you're making for your children. If you're making your children, them, you're allowed to say it, the baby of summer, even though you can't wow. smell. Yeah, However, you can't do it for other adults. If you might see other adults who are not children, you can't do it. Only for chinuf purposes, you're allowed. Yeah, have a bad cold. Same, same here. If you're making for other people, Abdullah, you already heard Abdullah Shul. But you're making for other men, like we spoke, not women. Making for other men or children, you're allowed to make Abdullah, make the Bayrim of Summer, you have to smell from it. You can't just say a Bayrim of Summer, let them smell. I already smelled the Shul. Why? Because you can't say Bayrim of Summer. You have to have a Hanal from it. So you want to make Abdullah for them? Okay, make Abdullah for them. But you have to smell again. It's not after they just smell. Is that absent if they want to say Bayrim of Summer themselves while you're saying it? Is that absent? So that would be the best thing to say. Even in the Sibur... They could say, but even in the Sibur... The women, you can't be Yaitzah. Right you're saying Abdullah. So if you give them, let them they say... They can say the Ha'abdullah. No, they can't. Ladies can't. Oh, except the 